Got a new tool for the shop. Plasma table showed up in a bunch of boxes, so I'm gonna get started putting this thing together and see how it goes. Well, I'm really happy with the way this is uh, coming together so far. They want you to bolt together the water table though and use RTV, but I'm gonna just uh, TIG weld that up, less spots to leak. Instead of using their brass drains that they send with it that you just sandwich in there, um, I ordered some weld-in bungs too with a three, like a three quarter inch pipe thread so I can put a couple of ball valves out the bottom, those should be here tomorrow so I can weld those in when they get here. Uh, the actual plasma cutter itself won't be here for another few days, so just figured I'd try to work on getting it put together until that shows up. So we'll get this welded up. through got that all welded up so shouldn't leak there um, just figured that'd be a more positive seal than just some RTV and some bolts um, I don't really care too much about having to take it apart in the future so figured uh, just weld it together and then once I weld in the drains it'll make it easy to drain the water um, the only leak spots I'll have is going to be where the screws go in, but I'm not too terribly worried about those. So figured try to eliminate as many spots as I can. So really the only ones that'll be left are the screws.
Well, finally got done putting it all together. I uh, like the way it turned out. Just waiting on the new plasma to show up. It should be here in a, well, it says Monday next week. So it's currently Wednesday. So I got a little while to wait, I guess, but the rest of it turned out good. Those uh, little ball valves I put in there, I think they will work good. And they have a little bit bigger of a drain in them. Those are a three quarter inch pipe bung that I welded in to a little three quarter inch mini ball valve. Um, so those should work good. Other than that, the table's all welded together down the middle and assembled. Got it with the little laptop stand thing. Probably end up ditching that at some point, but for right now, it'll work. So super excited to get it, get it up and going. I guess we'll try her out on Monday. Well, the plasma cutter finally showed up, got it all hooked up. It's down there, got its torch height control box and everything mounted. Um, ran its break-in procedure, which basically just runs the machine back and forth a bunch of times. Um, it seems to be working good. Everything's adjusted and whatnot. So we'll uh, do a little dry run on this piece of metal here and see if it looks like it's going to work. So looks good there. I'll just turn the plasma on and we'll try running this thing. Seemed to work out pretty good. Not a whole lot of slag or anything on it. Looks pretty clean for the first cut that I've done on there. I'll have to play around with settings a little bit, but just figured I'd do a little test cut. Super happy with it. I guess I'll keep playing around and see what we can build with this thing.
Well, that that winch plate that I cut out to mount the winch on the car trailer, uh, time to make room for it on the trailer. I gotta get rid of all this junk. I'm not too sure what was going on there other than they uh, had a spare tire mount, but I'm gonna get rid of all that uh, mess of stuff, make a spot for the winch to go right down in here, and then uh, I've got a tongue box that I'm gonna put here and try to leave room in between to build a new spare tire mount so I can put a spare tire on here as well. Uh, so we'll get started chopping all this stuff off. Well, finally got all that junk cut off of there. Um, got it mostly cleaned up. There's a couple of little spots where I uh, went through cutting with the torch. So I'll just weld those up quick while I'm welding on uh, the new bracket for the winch. And then I cut these out quick. It was just the leftover piece that got cut out of there. Cut them down the middle diagonally to build some bracing to go on the bottom side and then uh, just cut them off to length so they don't stick out past that. Um, so they'll be just a little, a little short of the end, which is work good for me. Um, and then that way they can support it. They can support underneath like so. Should be strong enough. This stuff's all three eighths. Uh, should be plenty strong for the winch. So we're gonna go ahead and get that thing welded on. Got this bad boy welded on there. Uh, hit the duty cycle on the little welder, so I got just a little bit more to do, but it's uh, on there solid, so I think it's gonna work out pretty good. Um, it'll work out all right. I should have ground out the old welds all the way, so that's why there's some weird spots that I kind of skipped around on on the front, because whoever welded the trailer together to begin with uh, those welds had a lot of porosity in them and they weren't the happiest so anyways super happy with the way that this thing's coming along so far that uh that plasma table really was about the only way to go on this thing it would have taken me forever to cut all of this 3 8 plate out by hand with a angle grinder or whatever to get nice straight cuts or spend a whole bunch of time grinding after using the plasma cutter sure you could you could use a straight edge and get them pretty good but 
it uh, wouldn't be as easy. It would definitely take a lot longer. So super excited to have that thing and uh, it'll make a huge difference when we get back on the mower over there, hopefully next week. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Get back on that thing and hopefully be uh, back to ripping on some build stuff. Well, got the winch all wired up, tongue box mounted, re, uh, re-wrapped the spool because it was all sorts of bird nested in there. Um, should work out pretty good. There should still be enough room to slip a spare tire in here. I'm gonna do that eventually. Uh, I don't have a spare tire for it yet, but it'd be really nice to have one on the trailer. Um, I gotta build something for the spare tire, but I'll do that later when I get the spare tire and all of that. I might even just put it on a swivel mount or something to where you can swivel it up out of the side and just have it bolted onto the arm and then pivot it back in there. Probably be nice and easy to get it in and out. Um, I, will, I mean, it'd be nice to have a little bit bigger of a tongue box because once you put a battery in there, um, not a whole lot of room left for straps and whatnot, but that's all right. It's still big enough I can put binders, chain binders in there kind of at an angle around this and they'd still fit. So I'll load some chains in the bottom, throw binders in on top and then straps on top of that. But I didn't have any grommets for the wiring so I'll probably get some for that so the box doesn't cut the wires. But either way, super happy with the way that it turned out. Should work really good. And uh, then that way I don't have to come along broken cars onto the trailer anymore. I can just winch them on. So had the winch laying around forever. Paid a, one of my neighbors a hundred bucks for the thing and got a remote for it. And always had the plans of mounting it on the trailer, but just never got around to it. So glad I finally got it on there. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm super excited to have the uh, plasma table going. Um, it's gonna be a huge game changer for me in the uh, time that it takes to build stuff and just the build quality will be a lot better. So hopefully within the next week or so, get back onto this thing and those will be hopefully the next videos that are coming out. So if you haven't already seen any of the videos on this mower, go back, check those things out. I'll, uh, Put them up on the screen here so you can check out the uh, the progress on that. And Or if you want to just re-watch them, get caught back up to where we were. I really appreciate everybody watching the videos, and we'll uh, catch you next time.